Hello and welcome to the Social Sig Vlog. It is currently Friday, 5.43 in the afternoon. How's it going everybody? Um, this last week has been really, really good, but also pretty long uh, and kind of weird. <laughs> um, but uh, I guess to start things off, um, on Friday I got my nose pierced, which is really dope. But uh, last I vlogged was last Thursday. Um, and I apologize for missing last night. I was a little bit too tired and out of it to get everything out that I wanted to. Um, but uh, here we are. And so last Thursday, I vlogged right before the podcast with John Sparrow of Violent Femmes, which is absolutely crazy. Um, had a, such a good conversation and um, I was pretty, pretty tired during that conversation, I remember, and, uh, and actually a pretty, like, zen state of mind, and honestly didn't, like, freak out too much, or was, like, feeling like it was super crazy, and, um, just really enjoyed the conversation, and John is the coolest dude, and, um, I really, really appreciate him taking the time, and, uh, coming on and just talking about the Milwaukee scene and he gave a really cool history on uh, like perspective on what the Milwaukee scene used to be like and it was just a good conversation so definitely check it out if you haven't that's on my YouTube and uh, for the first time I got my spot or my podcast on Spotify now which um, I want to keep putting them on Spotify Spotify uh, in like a video form slash audio as well so you can listen to it on there eventually I'll get it some other places too but right now it's just on Spotify and YouTube so stay tuned for that if you guys have been liking the podcast thank you so much for watching and um, it's been cool to to grow it and get better at it each time and um, I guess uh, keeping it going and learning as I go which has always been a motto of mine so um but yeah, so Friday night, just kind of hung out, got my nose pierced, and uh, worked on some music. And then Saturday, um, Lam's around with my girlfriend, and we, um, what did we do? I feel like I did something. Um, went to Goodwill for a little bit. I got my uh, a jacket that I've been wearing. It's like my new favorite thing. And I got these pants and a few other pants, but specifically went to find a, a clown outfit for the Bug Moment album release show, which my friends in Bug Moment, uh, shout out them. They just released an album on, was it Friday? Um, and it's fucking awesome. It's really, really good. So definitely check that out if you haven't. Uh, Bug Moment from Milwaukee. Uh, really, really proud of those guys. And they had an album release show on Saturday and they invited me up to sing a song with them called Bugs. Um, and uh, yeah, I was really, really stoked to do it and just be a, have a little bit part in the night. And I saw so many friends and familiar faces as well. And everyone was dressed as clowns. It was a clown theme. And I had my makeup all done. I was wearing like a beret. I was going for like a French mime kind of clown thing and uh yeah it was just super super fun i love me a theme party basically um and so after there's an after party all the bands killed it by the way shout out spoy um shout out shuby and uh bug moment sorry someone's texting me right now but um yeah really really fun night there's an after party that was really really fun and then <clears throat> sunday i was pretty hungover and just kind of uh, hung out with Sheila most of the day and then we went on a walk which was really great and then just kind of watched some movies and uh, just kind of uh, I guess recouping and uh, ha just enjoyed the weekend I guess it was, it was really nice outside and uh, it's been getting nicer outside and it's nice like a nice crisp spring right now um, yeah so Monday I worked and then had a uh, weird like knee thing happen. I was working on music and then like my left knee for whatever reason and I hadn't been skateboarding recently leading up to this but my left knee like buckled and it just like randomly like pinched the nerve or something and uh, for the next like three days I was like limping on Tuesday and just like slowly was getting better but I was like what the fuck happened? I was getting getting old um, but yeah, I worked on music and then uh, I ordered some more, or I guess like all the transportation for Sheila and I's trip to Europe. So that's all solidified now. So I feel really good about that. 
Um, really, really looking forward to that, uh, that trip and so excited to get out to Europe for, for three weeks and it's coming up. So really, really stoked for that. Ah, and then what was it? Tuesday? I think it was Wednesday. It was, uh, I worked. And then right when I was leaving at work, I feel like I've been saying I, I work, but I worked, but I worked Monday through Friday for those who don't know. Um, but I worked downtown and on at like 5 p.m. I was just leaving the office and a resident came in and he had like kind of like tears in his eyes and he's like, holy shit, I just saw somebody get shot. And we were like, what the fuck? So just kind of like looked outside the front window and there was the first thing I remember seeing was just like kind of commotion, like down by the street corner where the convenience store and the shooting happened. And I was talking to the guy like, dude, what did you see? And he's like, there was like a scuffle on the end of the, the block and one person was pushed and then all of a sudden a gunshot went off and three dudes just ran the other way past our building. And, and then uh, the first thing I saw when looking around was the owner of the convenience store run outside with his gun just like booking it with like two of his buddies following him, literally gun in hand. And I was like, what the fuck? And he was just on a mission. Just, I don't know. That's definitely not the protocol as far as like, if there's a shooting outside your store is to hunt the shooter down. And I don't know, it was wild and saw him run down an alleyway and just kind of sat from the safety of the building. And a bunch of residents were just kind of watching with us and like, the police came. Luckily, the guy who got shot was okay, and he was moving when he got put into the stretcher. And apparently, it was over his bike. Like, he uh, had a bike uh, outside, and it was on the news the next day. So that's what they were saying. It was just uh, they wanted his bike, and he said no and got shot. So fucking crazy. I had gone to that convenience shop a lot um, just for, like, uh, basically Mio, um, is like a energy water changer drink that I've been putting into my water. It's just been really nice, but haven't been there since just for being kind of spooked out. And I feel like I've been a little jumpy the last like few days since that. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Just, uh, always mindful of being safe out here. And, um, it's scary, like really, really scary sometimes. And I often think too, that it, it's a real bummer that, um, most of the time, like I live in River West and sometimes like I'm always on edge when I'm even just going to my car looking at like who's around and I almost want to like I feel bad for like I can't even make it like I feel like I can't even trust my neighbors like walking by like fucking like I think it was the night after the shooting. I went to go grab something for my car and there's an old lady like walking and I, I exited my alleyway and I saw her and I like jumped. Like, dude, it just sucks. It is what it is. And um, yeah, so city living for you. And then, um, yeah, uh, what else happened this week? Um, uh, last night I did a podcast with a guy named Eamon. His music project is called Holy Pinto. I've been meaning to talk with this guy for a long time. He's been in Milwaukee for four years now, he said, but he's originally from Canterbury, England, and he has uh, moved here to pursue music and uh, I've been told by many people to uh, reach out to him and he's got a really, really cool perspective on touring, booking tours and like just going for it. So uh, really, really uh, had a great conversation with him and uh, we also booked a show for this next Thursday, or upcoming Thursday, at the Holler House, which is the oldest registered bowling alley in America. Um, we are playing there on Thursday. Just I'm doing a solo thing, he's doing a solo thing, and his buddy's in a band from Philadelphia called Kara Kara are swinging through on tour, so uh, put that together and just gonna have a fun night on Thursday, and it uh, should be fun. So working on some new music, and really, really just been thinking about, uh, I guess like the limits as far as like, just to just balance things as far as how many podcasts to do a week and definitely just one, maybe one every two weeks if that. I found that I've get, been getting pretty burnt out from it um, as I was burnt out like two, three weeks ago. And then this last week I did three podcasts. 
So now I just need to stay strict to one podcast a week, I think, just for my own sanity. And <clears throat> especially because it's getting nicer outside too, I want to definitely enjoy the weather. Um, it feels like I'm locked inside most of the day having to work, which is a bummer. But uh, got to make money. So um, I want to skateboard more and definitely will do that once uh, it gets warmer outside and I can skateboard outside right after work, which will be really, really nice. Really looking forward to that. Um, and what else? Also, I somewhat uh, have been starting to work with my buddy Ian, who's a video editor. And he is helping me out with editing up podcast clips for the podcast. So he's editing up, like taking uh, clips from the video um, and then editing up in like a long vertical format. And so send, and sending them to me so I can post just for more content for people to maybe uh, discover the Social Sig podcast or something like that. So um, that's been really cool, uh, like a new thing. I started a new Instagram account with the Social Sig podcast, if you haven't seen it. Um, and just gonna try to continuously post on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. And um, it's kind of like a weird feeling because I feel that TikTok is gonna be banned by the US or in the US eventually. So it's like, what am I, is this even worth it? But um, it, does, it takes like a few seconds to post. So um, not too worried about that. And let's see. Oh, and I'm jamming with a, a dude named Jacob Olson who just pulled up and, oh, wait, nope, that's not him. I just waved at a stranger. Uh, but yeah, Jacob Olson, uh, I'm jamming up. Our bass is Austin, can't make some shows coming up. So uh, my buddy Jacob, who is officially the first guitarist of Social Sig and also not Jacob Slade, it's Jacob Olson. Uh, so we'll have two Jacobs for some sets coming up. But uh, he just moved to Milwaukee finally, Jacob Olson, and is jamming some songs with Social Sig uh, or just with me tonight, uh, just to run through the set. So uh, looking forward to that. I forgot what I was just talking about, but um, yeah. <sighs> Coming up, just really, really focus on Europe and uh, taking that time, soaking it in and really looking forward to just a new perspective on life, I think. And um, I felt that I want to uh, work on music more and more seriously. Um, I feel like I haven't been setting enough time seriously to music, which has been nice. It was kind of a nice break to get away from for a little bit after releasing a new album. And um, I felt really stagnant in like my recording and creative outlet with I guess, uh, <clears throat> music and, um, getting together an idea of like the sound and like songs I want to put out there and like the overall vibe. And, um, I really, really want to make something really, really special for this next album. So, and I don't want to half-ass it. So, um, cognitively and, uh, con or consciously making an effort to, uh, put more time into that and, um, and enjoy it because I want to, and that's just what I want to do. So, um, yeah, more music to, to come. There is like this weird pressure to release music constantly, especially in this day and age. Um, but, um, I've found that the more time I can spend creatively, uh, working on music and songwriting, the more I think that I can create something, uh, something more special and something more special to me and more special to everyone else who will hear it and um, kind of going back to the roots a little bit. So uh, it's, it's interesting to look back and think about my life when I was going to college and working part time and just doing music and I didn't have the podcast and um, I had more of a social life with living with all my, my buddies in college. And now I just live alone and hang out with my girlfriend and have a podcast and go out sometimes and see people doing shows. I wasn't doing shows back then, too. So not spending a whole lot of uh, time on music lately as much as I want to. So um, that's something I want to work on and get better at. So, yeah. Um I say I have a show tomorrow at the Lighthouse, which is a DIY venue. Um, it'll be 
the like DM for address, but it'll also be a very sweaty basement show. We're opening up, which will be nice. Um, and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. And uh, I was thinking too, when talking with like John Sparrow of the Violet Femmes, he's like, man, I miss those house show basement shows. And um, yeah, like it doesn't last forever. And I'm glad that uh, I kind of did this intentionally too. I, set, I scheduled a lot of like DIY basement shows for this spring um just because they're such a blast and man i mean I'll, I'll still i could still be doing them when i'm like in my 30s if i wanted to but i think that like there are eras to it and just really uh trying to enjoy those as much as possible um and then let's see what else is coming up um doing a promo with diet light on sunday uh it's it's gonna be absolutely hilarious i can't spoil anything about it so you'll just have to see uh for their album release show that we're opening up for in april at the collectivo backroom april 15th uh that show is gonna be really really bananas uh kangaroo court who i've only heard amazing fucking things and they're just they seem like they're the coolest people they're playing as well um <clears throat> It's just going to be a bomb-ass night. I think it's going to sell out. And um, after this show, I guess, um, I got a lot of shows. I got a show in Chicago, April 7th, and then April 15th at the Collectivo Backroom opening for Diet Light. A show April 21st at the Majestic Theater in Madison, which is going to be fucking insane. And then... Um, what is it? Uh, April 27th at the Cobra Lounge in Chicago. So really, really booked myself up for this April right before year up. Um, and uh, it's going to be fun. And then lastly, I'm just trying to get my taxes done. So next week, I think I scheduled a, a tax consulting thing with H&R um, Block. So um, just getting them done. It's been stressing me the fuck out not having my taxes filed yet. So all right, uh, I think that's all I want to talk about, and I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, miss a lot of you. Life's been moving so fast lately, um, and uh, I went on a walk yesterday, and I felt like um, there's always like certain moments in life when you're just kind of reminiscing and just kind of feel like, wow, like I'm I'm growing up, like I'm feeling like pretty old and um, smarter and wiser, and uh, it was a really cool feeling. So I hope you're feeling the same way in a good way. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you soon. All right, bye. Love you.